Shalom everyone, this is Onia. I have an announcement to make. So starting next week, we are going to start a series on my channel, and I'm going to be doing this live, where I'm going to be going through the Church Father writings and reading through them and analyzing them and pointing out to the significance of things they say in the context of the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Ethiopian Orthodoxy faith. And so uh, I think it's going to be very insightful uh, and a valuable use of our time. So this channel, as I've mentioned before, is dedicated to everything connected with the Bible, even tangentially. So things such as history that can help fill in the background of the, of the Bible, or things that can help with textual criticism or with proper interpretation of the Bible are relevant to this YouTube channel. And I want to assure you that the more significant things on this channel will be coming in the future, such as presenting my translations and versions of the, of the books of scripture. But before we get to that, because that is being done as we speak, I am wor working on my version of the Bible, but I am not ready to present to you guys my version of the Bible in, in even in small capacity at this time, because I still want to work on it more before I start releasing some of it to, to share with you guys. So before we get to that stage, because I am now having Mondays off every week from my job for the foreseeable future for eight about eight months, so all the way until mid-April, I will be having three-day weekends. This will give me a lot more time to relax and rest and also I will feel more uh, energized and motivated to be able to make weekly videos for you guys. So the plan right now is to read through the Church Father writings, the early Church Father writings, and we're going to start with the earliest Church Fathers and progress up from there. So uh, next week we're going to start with Justin Martyr. He's not, uh, I'm not sure if necessarily he's the earliest church father that we're going to be reading, but I decided to start with him first. In, in general, we're going to be going from the earliest to the latest, but it's not going to be strictly chronological, chronological in that one church father might overlap another one, and so the exact time frame of which one wrote first isn't necessarily set in stone, but in general, we're going from the early church fathers to later church fathers. So that is what we're going to be doing. I don't know how long it's going to be taking for us to actually go through the, these texts, but I wanted to basically tackle uh, these early church father writings to show their value and significance. Because the reality is a lot of Christians, and even you know, and people who know nothing much about the Bible, have no clue about these early writings. They may know these writings exist, but they don't know what they say. They haven't really delved in depth into their contents. So we're going to be going through them together. I will be reading through them and then stopping at various junctures through. As I'm reading, I will stop and give my commentary, my analysis, my criticism of what they're saying. And we're going to start with the dialogue of Justin with Trypho, the Jew. And that's very in interesting uh, because it deals strictly with the Bible. Uh, a proper interpretation of the Bible is Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, quotations from Scripture, Old Testament, New Testament, as well as uh, quotations from Apocrypha books. We got textual criticism issues of Masoretic texts versus the Septuagint versus manuscript readings that are not preserved in either the Septuagint or the Masoretic, but which are preserved in other manuscripts. So there's some really cool information in Justin Martyr. We will also go through and critique and refute some of the false claims that Justin Martyr makes, in, and we will emphasize the things that Trypho the Jew gets right. We will also expose the things that he gets wrong. We're going to be criticizing both uh, Justin and Trefo. So 
the way we're going to be approaching this first book is we're going to be basically, it's almost like I'm going to be inserting myself into the debate and debating both Trifo, the Jew, and Justin. And I will be giving counter arguments to things I disagree with them, and I will be giving arguments in support of the things I agree with them on. And I will be pointing out the different connections that are very interesting between the different uh, writings of scripture, such as including the Apocrypha. So that's really where we're going to start. Now, the Dialogue of Trefo is a very large book, so it's going to probably take a while for us to go through the book. But so what I'm thinking is right now we're going to just do once a week, Sundays, and the plan is probably to start around. I'm thinking uh, maybe maybe noon time. I don't know. And then uh, we will read through perhaps two to three hours each Sunday. And we'll see how long it takes. So I'm excited for this. I think it's going to be very uh, important information to enlighten us about the early church period and about the the origins of Christianity and help us understand the Bible better. So I look forward to sharing that with you guys. Stay tuned. Um, please feel free to participate. Share your ideas. Share how you would interpret what Justin Martyr is saying. Share your agreements. Share your disagreements with what they say in the debate. And with what I say, if I say something that you don't like or you disagree with or you agree with, you can share your comments in the comments of the live video that we will be doing every week. So that will be starting next Sunday. And I'm going to try to go through Justin Martyr's book before we get started. And, uh, and it's going to, and I'm going to try to be prepared for the general outline and scope of his book. But I will also tell you guys ahead of time that uh, so it was not the first book that Justin Martyr wrote, but because of its significance to the Bible, that's what we're going to be starting with. Because that's his most important work that he wrote in terms of relevance to the Bible. But Justin Martyr, we're looking at him up right now on Wikipedia, we have here Eusebius tells us that he wrote two apologies, and we actually have two apologies from Justin Martyr. So uh, those are also two writings we will go through. A Discourse to the Greeks. Um, a hortur, Hortatory Address to the Greeks. Treatise on the Sovereignty of God, a work entitled The Psalmist, a treatise in scholastic form on the soul, and then, of course, the Dialogue with Trefo, as we know. Um, and we have, let's see here. So there are also other writings that were associated with Justin Martyr throughout uh, the ages, and they may or may not actually be by Justin Martyr. We will be looking at those as well, and giving, when possible, trying to give benefit of the doubt that those were actually written by Justin Martyr. But, yeah, I keep saying Justin Martyr out of habit. We should really just be calling him Justin, not Justin Martyr. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Justin's writings, uh, I will be trying to go through them all with you guys. And the ones that are possibly not by Justin, we will be going through them anyway, just to see what they say and then try to analyze them. Now, some of them might not actually be translated into English, so we probably won't be able to go through those at this time. But uh, let's see. Um, let's see if I can look up quickly 
pseudo Justin just to see what writings are attributed to him. Okay. Yeah, there's a just a, there's a few writings, but um, so anyway, well, we'll we'll look into that. Um, I'm going to prepare for that in my studies so that one next week we will be ready. We will be ready uh, to dive deep, right, and go straight into the the book of Justin in recording his debate with Trayvon. So again, I look forward to that, guys. Keep supporting this channel. I look forward to studying history and scripture together with you guys. Shalom. Hope you guys have had a great, uh, great week, great weekend, and hopefully your year has been going well for you guys. And stay strong in the faith, keep searching for truth, and I'll see you guys next week. God bless you guys.